everybody, welcome back to Tori's Craft. As always, I'm Tori. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little updates on family, channel, what I'm hoping to do soon. Um, first thing, um, update on the family. Everybody's doing good. Um, three-year-old little brother on January the 6th had hip surgery in a port placed in um, the port is basically an access panel type of thing so that way uh, he doesn't have to get stuck all the time uh, he has diabetes but it's not the sugar it's the water diabetes so once a month he has to go in and get his uh, sodium level checked uh, when he gets sick he has to go to the hospital and he does not have very good veins from what I've been told. Um, my mom is a nurse and he has two other nurses that come in to help with him. Uh, so, yeah, he's a handful. Um, next Monday, actually, he is going in for another surgery. Um, this surgery is the throat they're going to take out his abnoids and uh, tonsils but we're hoping on Wednesday um, that he will come out of his cast he is in the cast from hip surgery so and we're tired of the cast oh we're so tired of the cast it makes it so hard to carry him around and when you have a kiddo that is not mobile, can't walk or, you know, that type of deal, um, it's hard. Um, I have two brothers, actually, that can't walk. Um, technically, my five-year-old little brother can't walk, but he has figured out a way to knee walk, which basically means he's up on his knees and he's getting around that way um so my five-year-old little brother he just had a procedure today just to check out um his digestive system make sure everything is working normally and he came back with passing colors so nothing to uh to worry some on that uh, my 10 year old little brother he, he's the same. No, nothing bad going on with him. Um, my mom's doing great, too. I'm doing great. Uh, having a very nice day outside. Um, it's actually really nice today. It's gotten a little colder, but I think it's gone up to like 50s or 60s today. It was really nice. So, And it's shocking for February because usually this is the coldest time of the year. January and February are usually cold, but for some reason Oklahoma's like, eh, nope, not doing it. So, uh, I get to sit out here on my little hammock swing and actually chill out for a little bit. Um, so, on update on the channel, nothing's really going to be changing that much. Uh, just basically, I'm going to do unboxings and whenever I finish a project I'll you know leave a final review on it um, trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to do <clears throat> I don't really think there is anything else I want to do with the channel other than just keep it going as is. Um, I did see, however, I have 28 subscribers now. It may have jumped up since the last time I saw it. But right now, um, I think I uploaded some videos on Saturday. Um, 28 subscribers. I'm really shocked about that. Uh, in January, January 25th, the exact date, I looked and I had 25 subscribers and the hype was real like 
it took me a while to come down from the hype. And then the next day, I gained another subscriber, and I was at 26. And it's like, holy crap. There, you know, it was the same exact number on basically on the same day. So the 25th and the 26th, I had 25 and 26 subscribers. And it's like, oh my gosh. That threw me for, for a loop and shocked me very much um and now having 28 subscribers is awesome i love it i just really hope we can get to a thousand subscribers for what i actually do want to do um but i won't do it until i hit a thousand um just because at this point in time what i wanted to do is very special for everybody and I can't do that right now. I'm not going to get into all the details on it, but right now there are a few things that I want to do with the channel, um, but I do need to have a lot more subscribers. So if you're watching this and you want to see what's going on when I hit a thousand, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It, I will post updates every so often. It's very random when I post updates. Um, but right now I am very focused on trying to get a video uploaded every week. Um, just one video once a week. And hopefully it's just an unboxing. Um, so that's my biggest goal right now is just to get a video up once a week. Now, I might miss a week here or there, but that's only how things flow with me. Uh, so, please be patient with me. Hopefully, eventually, whenever I graduate college or something things will get a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much, I think that's pretty much what I have going on. I want to do something once I hit a thousand subscribers. I'm going to try to keep up with one video a week, maybe two if I finish a project. Um, if I finish a project, then if the unboxing hasn't came out, I'll wait until the unboxing comes out. And then the following week, on Monday, the finished project will be uploaded. Um, unboxings will be on Tuesdays as normal. Uh, finished projects will be on Mondays. Just because, who knows? I might finish a project on Monday and then be able to, you know, give you a fresh re a review on it. Even though I do go in there and try to record that video ASAP, sometimes I might wait a couple of days depending on if I'm like happy or not happy. Um, I think on Spider-Man, I waited a couple of days because I was not, I wasn't happy with that. Um, so, and I didn't want you guys to think, see that. I didn't want y'all to see, well, hear more along the lines how upset I was with Spider-Man. Because I was really upset with him. Um, or with the company. But whenever that happens, I usually try to give a day or two between uh, finishing it and re uh, doing a final review. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> also, I have came down with a cold. Um, I've been fighting kind of a cold, so if my voice kind of sounds crackly or anything like that. It's because I'm still fighting a cold. Um, but other than that, I'm I'm good. I know there's been a, like a couple times. Oh, switch of hands. I know there's been a couple of times I've recorded some videos and I'm actually, I'm coughing my head off. Um, so, uh, 
but what was I saying? <sighs> Gotta think now. Mm. Okay, so, but yeah, I'm gonna focus on just posting up one video per week. Um, unless, of course, I do have that finished review, and at that time, um, you'll get two videos uh, one you know, one week. Um, but I've got to wait for a little bit longer because still, oh, there's a lot of chaos going in my house, <coughs> and it's not going to be any easier as time goes on. Um... I mean, we're still kind of like settling into this house still. Um, I still got to paint my room. I haven't painted for a while now, but I still need to, you know, get that finished to be painted so I can hang things up on my walls and decorate my room. Um, we still, I mean, we still, the entire house still needs to be painted. Um, we still have boxes that we have to go through, get those done. I mean, there's there's a list, and keeping up with all the cleaning of, of everyday um, living, basically cleaning up after ourselves and stuff like that. <coughs> but we've got lucky with one of our nurses. Um, she's a this nurse, she works with my three-year-old little brother. She helps. She helps out a lot, and she she doesn't have to, but she does. And she just sits there and says, like, I know I don't have to do it. I know I'm only responsible for him. But I just got to do something, because otherwise I'm going to fall asleep. And so I was like, okay, whatever. Do what you want to do. I'm pretty much... <laughs> we've pretty much told her. We've gone blue telling her she doesn't have to do something. That she's doing and she doesn't care she's gonna do it I'm like okay whatever I'll back up <laughs> so taking care of three medical needed kids is not easy it really isn't easy um, and that's coming from somebody who doesn't have that nursing degree everything I know I've learned from my mom who has that nursing degree so yeah, <laughs> go figure, right? <laughs> um, but everything is going good with everything. Even the channel is going good. I'm just, I'm just so excited that I have the 28 subscribers now. I'm like, yay! And I tell mom, and she's like, I'm almost there. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> uh, so. And she still allow allows me to do the unboxings for um, the TheraPlay, which I know I've said this at, like, the end of February's box, which actually should come out tomorrow. I have rearranged some, some of this stuff, um, because I had, I had uh, three unboxings scheduled um, in February. And I had the February TheraPlay box. And it's like, I need to rearrange this. So, um, most of the videos will probably be out of order. I know there's one particular one I think is coming out on next week I don't know if it's a diamond painting unboxing or a product unboxing I have to look and also I cut my hair off and excuse it because I've got to go wash it but I cut my hair off so I get this little tiny ponytail now. I used to have it um, a little bit longer, but cut my hair off, so that's a blessing. Almost, I don't, I don't know. 
Um, so anyway, on the fair play boxes, if you're over the age of 18, you can watch it. If you have littles, and I mean little kids, um, that have sensory issues or any type of issues, because it works great for all three of my brothers, and they have sensory motor skills and some other issues, um, and it works great for them. What I would highly suggest, since, fa um, not Facebook, but, yeah, no, no, not Facebook, um, since the FTC has cracked down on the COPPA law, um, if you don't know what the COPPA law is by now, it is the Children Online Protection Act, um, basically meaning that if you are a child under the age of 18, I believe, or 13, I want to say it's 18, um, I cannot collect data on you. Basically, when you watch my video, um, I cannot have you comment on my channel, which basically means I'm collecting data. I'm collecting your information from either the device you're using, say like you're using your mother's phone, okay? Um, but it's on your account. So I'm collecting the data from the phone and that's against the law. So for that, I have made everything that is looks like it, it can be appealing to kids for anybody over the age of 18. All my videos, every single video I have up on my YouTube channel now and in the future are made for adults, but not made for kids. I don't have a child in mind. <coughs> I'm thinking of <coughs> adults um, when I make these, uh, th these videos. <clears throat> now, I might say, you know, this will look good for, like, a kid's room or, you know, will be a nice present for a kid. That's just because of the character on the diamond painting I do. Oh, excuse me. I also just uh, ate lunch, too, so I'm kind of... Little gassy, sorry. <laughs> Anywho, um, there is a particular painting that I know um, that I've done that I said would look great in a kid's room, and that is Princess uh, Tiana, uh, the actual Disney-looking Princess Tiana, not my sexy Bayou one. Um, so. That particular painting, yes, I would say that is appealing to kids, but the video is made for adults. It's not made for kids. I do say in there, I think, it's been a while since I've actually <laughs> recorded that video or rewatched it or anything like that, but I do say in there, um, and this is not a direct quotation, uh, what I say in there is, this would really look good in a kid's room. They like Princess Tiana. You know, get it, in, get it in a nice frame or just hang it up as is in the in their room. Um, so, with my TheraPlay boxes, those are toys made specifically for kids or for people who do have a sensory issue. And that is directed towards kids because of the content of that box. But since it is a subscription box, I do not look at it as content for kids. I look at it as content for adults because you have to pay for it to get the products. Um, and so 
it's more of an gray area really it's one of those gray areas it's a subscription box but it has toys in it and it looks like I'm playing with toys um, but in reality what I'm doing is just looking at the objects in the box and I am not I'm not getting paid to promote it but I am promoting it because I do think it is a good subscription box to have especially when you have little ones um, because it gives you a lot of different things that you could do with your child um, and you guys will see I think it I think it's coming out tomorrow you all see the February one and it's a major hit um, the therapist use it with my five-year-old little brother and he loves um, he loves the objects in there so he has fun with it and I just I feel like I don't <sighs> sorry I'm trying to get my words together because it's kind of frustrating at the same time I don't feel like I should put an age restriction on it but to keep myself safe I'm putting an age restriction on it so if you're a parent and you want to see the reaction that um, your child may have looking at this box when I unbox it you can watch it together just not on your child's YouTube um, YouTube profile because again that copper law I can't collect data on them I can only collect data on people who are over the age of 18 and not suffer the loss of my channel and possibly having no money for the rest of my life because um, they could find me up to I want to say $45,000 um, for having content that is directed towards children and collecting data on the, the children. Um, even though I do know the Therapy Boxes is kid friendly and attractive to kids, I am trying to play it safe with that and it hurts that this is the new role that YouTube has came out with and there was a time where I was really scared about losing my channel and I'm still scared about losing my channel um because I'm just I mean what am I gonna do when I get new diamond paintings or the therapy boxes again what am I gonna do I'm having so much fun creating those videos for you guys to see what's going on and it's just like if my channel is gone what am I going to do how how am I going to express my innermost person so it's weird but I'm keeping my fingers crossed that nothing happens. I am very scared that YouTube might find my Play boxes to be kid friendly and delete those bo uh, those videos. And if they do, then there goes Play boxes. If they get deleted, I'm not doing it. I'm not uplo uploading them again. So. I'll have to figure out something else, a different subscription box that I can, you know, open up. I did do the kitnip box, but that that's just that's stuff for the the cats, and it's not it wasn't really fun. I mean, the items in there that are great and stuff like that. My cats barely even play with it, this stuff now. Um. So I'm like, eh. That's why the kitnip boxes just basically disappeared. I stopped doing those. I did like, I think, three videos on them. 
after the third one, I'm like, I'm done. So, the TheraPlay boxes, I have a lot of fun unboxing those because it's a surprise. You, you never know what you're going to get. And looking through all these objects and wondering, you know, is my brother going to like this? Is this going to be a hit and miss? What is this going to tell? And it's, it's fun to see. Um, also, there's one other thing before I go because I'm getting a little bit cold now. Um, when you guys are commenting on my channel, you do not have to say Tori's craft. You can just say Tori. Um, in every single video, I introduce the channel, you know, thank you for coming to Tori's Craft, or, hey, it's Tori's Craft again. I can't remember. I change it up every single time. Um, and I go on and say, as always, this is Tori, or this is Tori, you know, stuff like that. Um, nobody else uploads videos on here except for me. Um, and if anybody does eventually start to upload videos on my channel, um, I will have them introduce the channel and then say their name. Say, for example, this is Tori's Craft and I am Jake. Okay. So this way you know who's doing it. So if you guys want to comment down below in the comments, you don't have to just say the channel's name. You can just say Tori. Um, so that way, it's less typing to do, really. And, I, I mean, I'm not telling you guys how to comment on my channel. I'm just saying if you guys want to do it that way, um, you don't have to just say Tori's Craft, thank you so much. You can say Tori, thank you so much. That type of stuff. Okay. I am getting off of here because I've got to go take care of kids. Yay. Bye for now. I will see you all in the next video.